more data. More data. All right, so let's use this table. So one thing we might want to do is clear our old lists. Let's actually go through that together, how to clear the lists. Yeah, so how do you get back to the list? Add that up on the right corner of the board. So first you hit the stat key. Uh, try hitting it again. Good, and then you choose edit. Now remember, if, something, if things don't work, hit second quit and start from the beginning. Okay. okay. Um, because otherwise you'll get buried in a sea of menus. Right, now let's see how to clear our lists. Looks like you might have already figured that out. Okay, so let's go back to list one. Now I want to clear the whole list. How can we do something to the whole list by moving the cursor up over list one? Notice that right now the cursor is on the first entry, but we want to move it up to list one. Now hit the clear key. Now hit enter. That's how you clear the list. Now try clearing list two. Good. Now, if you, you, you have to go up to the top before you clear, otherwise you only clear one entry. And you have to enter after you hit clear. So Is clear all of them? Okay. Should we just go ahead? Well, why don't we clear one through four? Because those are the lists that we've been using. All right. By the way, whatever you do, don't delete the list. Because we haven't learned how to put the list back in. So you want to clear the list, not delete it. So don't hit the delete key when you're up over the list, because that will delete the whole thing. We just want to clear it. Okay, um, so now we can put in our numbers. Oops. Should we put time in first again? Well, um, you can choose whatever you want, but we might as well follow the same pattern. The important thing is, though, to label on a piece of paper what you're putting where. So what did we decide to put in list one? Time. All right, so let's list that, label that. We might as well be consistent with our previous work. It usually makes sense to put the horizontal variable first. And take your time and make sure you're putting the numbers in correctly. Where's your notes for this problem? Oh. Good, I just want to make sure that you label this. That's good. So our, our substance here is C4H6. Good. So list two has the C4H6 concentration. That's good.
Yeah, this 3 will have the log of the C4H6 concentration. All right, let's see how to fix that. Yeah, if you get an error, the best thing to do probably, well, let's try go to. That will put you back at where you made the error. Okay. All right, and then you can fix whatever went wrong. Well, I don't know what it is. Oh, heat oops. I realized what I did wrong. Should be this heat oops. Yeah, list two. When you take the log of list two, not list one. If you take the log of list one, that involves taking the log of zero, which is undefined, which is right. why you got the error. So that's good because I warned you you made a mistake. Okay, yeah, we're not taking the logs of the times, we're taking the logs of the concentrations. Okay. So if you get that error message, you have two options. You can hit go to and try to fix the error, or you can hit quit and kind of start over. Okay. All right, so that's that. Good. Right, not one over the time, but one over the C4H6 concentration in list four. Okay. 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 Of course, our goal here is to find the rate expression. Yeah, so you have to do one over list two, not one over list one or one over list three. That's good. Okay, very good. By the way, there's actually a way to automate this so that you just have to type these definitions in once, and it'll do it for you every time you change these. But actually, uh, I, I don't want to automate things too much. I think it's good for us to do that over and over because it gives us better intuition for what we're doing. And you don't want to automate things too much because you're going to actually have, you're going to have to actually calculate these logs on the test. So this is enough for us, enough new calculator stuff for one day. Okay. So um, okay. Well, that's a good start. Let's keep working on that. Yeah, now we hit second stat plot to make sure that we've defined the plot correctly. And let's start by checking the, the, uh, the zeroth order. We'll just go through them one by one. Okay, so that's, that should be L2. Oh, well, right. So that's just, yeah. Yeah, what should be the vertical um, what should be the vertical variable if it was zero at the order? The, um, just the concentration. Just the concentration, which we put in list two. Good. Good. Excellent. What did you just hit? Oh, I just moved it down to one. Oh, okay. You don't need even need to do that. Oh. You can just hit list two and then we're ready for the next step. And that's what was it, the zoom? Yeah. So those are still up on the board. Those are the three things you're gonna have to do. Zoom. Zoom stat is the ninth option. So no. Yeah, that's a curve, so that doesn't look good. So yeah, it's not zero with order because that gave us a curve. Good. Which order are you checking now? First order. Good. And what's the vertical variable for first order? Um, log of That's right. Excellent. Good. Good. Any questions? Yeah. So for when you're looking at or for the for the second order when you're doing the rise over run. Right. For the rise, because you're doing the one over, would you use the for the time would you use a thousand instead of zero for the zero one over zero? Let's do that together. That's a good question. So we'll, we'll go through that in a second. That's a, a good thing to worry about. So what did your graph look like? It was curved again. Yeah, it was curved again. Not that curved, but kind of curved. But kind of curved. Now your vertical variable is the one over in list four. Good. Uh, here we go. Okay, <laughs> excellent. So it works best when we use list four. So what order do we have? Second order. So let's try writing out that rate expression. Table. 
but what are we using for A? 